Hello everyone. My name is Ati Hirohayashi. I'm a senior research scientist at Georgia Tech. Today, I'll be talking about multi-level chapter one time API for GPUs. Okay, let me first talk about our motivation. What you see here is the number of accelerators in top 500 list, and obviously the number of GPU is increasing. Also, some of the next generation supercomputers such as Frontier, Alola, Red Captain plan to include GPU, which also emphasizes the importance of using GPUs in HPC. However, when it comes to GPU programming in Chapel, the current Chapel has only two ultimate approaches. One approach is on your left, which is a compiler based automatic GPU compilation approach where the compiler compiles 402 GPUs. Another approach is on your right which is a fully manual approach where the user writes a full GPU program and invokes it from Chapel. Suppose the automatic compiler approach does not give a sufficient performance improvement and you end up with preparing a low-level GPU version. As you can see, there's a huge gap between two versions even though their computation part is fairly simple. So, in this talk, we will address these research questions. What is an appropriate and a portable programming interface that bridges and OWL and GPU versions. Essentially, we will introduce the concept of multi-level chapter programming model that complies with chapter's multi-resolution programming model. The highest and the most intuitive one is a high-level model, which is on your left, where the compiler compiles chapter's OWL loop to GPUs. Also, at the lowest level, the user is supposed to prepare a full GPU program with or without the GPU iterator module. And again, since there is no appropriate medium level approach, our proposal is to introduce medium level and medium low level GPU API, which allows the user to stick with Chapel when they allocate GPU memory and transfer data between CPU and GPUs. And our goal is to increase productivity with no performance loss. We believe those level of abstraction is important for two reasons. One is improving one is for improving productivity. This is based on the fact that the complexity in GPU programming comes not only from writing GPU kernel in device part, but also from writing the host part. By the host part, we mean GPU memory allocation, the allocation, and data transfer codes. So our API is designed to simplify that part. Another is for improving portability. Since there are different pro GPU programming models from different vendors, it is important for the user to write the host code in a platform agnostic way. Our API is implemented to work on different platforms. With that, our contributions are as follows. We design and implement two tiers of Chapel, Chapel level runtime GPU API. The mid level provides Chapel Programmer Friendly GPU API, whereas mid to low level provides 10 lappers for low level GPU APIs. We also perform performance and productivity evaluation on different distributed and single node platform using micro benchmark, including real world applications. Now I'll talk about our design of the medium level GPU API for Chapel. To summarize, at medium, medium low level, we assume the scenario where the user would like to write GPU kernel or utilize highly tuned GPU libraries and would like to stick with Chapel for the other part. And basically, the mid low level provides lapper function for low GPU APIs such as malloc, memcopy, and so on. On the other hand, the medium level is a bit more Chapel programmer friendly, for example, the user can allocate a GPU array by using the new keyword. We believe that this API design significantly facilitates the orchestration of low-level GPU API. Also, it's worth noting that the use of the API does not involve any modification to the Chapel compiler. Another important thing is that it can work with the prototype GPU code generator in Chapel 1.24. Okay, let me give you more details of the mid-low-level API design. As I mentioned earlier, 
it provides wrapper function for low GPU API to give the user the same functionality as CUDA, IP, and OpenCL. For example, there are malloc, which does device memory allocation, memcopy, which does host to device and a device to host data transfers, device synchronize, which ensures the completion of GPU computation, and free, which does device memory deallocation. One important thing to note is that at this level, the user needs to handle C or C++ type in addition to Chavero types because this level exposes C or C++ types such as C void pointer to the user. Note that these key API takes C or C++ pointer types. And let's talk about the medium level API. This API is more natural to Chapri programmer in a sense that the user no longer needs to handle C or C++ type in most cases. As you can see in the key API list, we can allocate GPU alley using the new keyword. Also, we support GPU jagged alley, which facilitates the construction of jagged alley on GPUs. We can do data transfer using two device and from device API and their device memory deallocation is implicitly done when the object is deleted, but the user also has the option of using delete keyword. What you see here is a medium low and medium version of GPU API problem. On the left hand side, you need to manipulate the wrapper API to perform data allocation, data transfer, kernel imitation, and data deallocation. Whereas on the right hand side, you can do the same thing in a more choppy programmer friendly way. We have detailed the document on the API. If you are interested, please take a look at it. What you see here is a complete Chapel plus CUDA program for Stream with a GPU API and a GPU iterator. First, on line number 17, the original forward loop is executed with the GPU iterator which internally divides the iteration space into CPU portion and GPU portion by looking at the CPU percent parameter on line number 18. For the GPU portion, the lambda function on line number 5 to 16 is supposed to do GPU memory allocation and data transfer and a kernel invocation. In this example, medium level API is used. For example, on line number 6 to 8, GPU alley is allocated by taking the chapel alley and those device pointers are fed into the kernel, launch, kernel launching function on line number 10. For lighting a GPU kernel, the user has the option of lighting a device function, device lambda, library code. In this case, there is device lambda function at the bottom right corner. Also, if we want to do distributed execution, you can do so very quickly thanks to the GPU iterator. The let six are essentially why you need to add or modify. First, on line number one, you need to create a distributed domain using DMAP keyword to do block distribution, which is very typical in Chapel programming. And on line number 17, you can give the distributed domain to the GPU iterator. And finally, on line number 6 to 8, you can specify the local portion of distributed alley using the local slash API. That's it. So we believe that the use of our medium level API and the GPU iterator facilitate their distributed programming in Chapel, particularly for GPUs. Okay, I talk a little bit about our implementation of our GPU API for Chapel. We provide an external Chapel module for GPU API. We carefully implemented our API so it can be used either standalone or with the GPU iterator module. Also, currently our module support NVIDIA and Locum ready AMD GPUs. Speaking of supporting AMD GPUs, one of the interesting things is that there, even though we implemented our API in CUDA, our CMake-based build system and their AMD 210 is smart enough to convert it to the HIP version and create a binary file for AMD GPUs. That's how we support AMD GPU. Also, the user has the option of using our OpenCL backend, and the SQL backend is currently under development.
Now I talk about performance evaluation and productivity evaluation. We evaluated the performance of our Plateau GPU program on the following three platforms. The first platform is Cori GPU cluster at NASC, which has the Intel Xeon Skylake CPUs and NVIDIA Volta 100 GPUs. Second platform is Summit at ORNL, which has IBM Pro 9 CPU and NVIDIA B100 GPUs. The third platform is the single node AMD machine, which includes Ryzen 9 CPUs and Radeon RX GPU. For the evaluations, we used several micro benchmarks, including Stream, Black Shows, Matrix Modification, Logistic Regression, and the two real world application. However, in the interest of time, we will only focus on the two real world application, which are Champs and the Distributed Exact Optimization. Also, we use different versions of Chapel. For the micro benchmark, we use Chapel 1.20. For the Champs, we use Chapel 1.22. For the Distributed Exact Optimization, we use 1.24. For GPU compilation, we use NBCC version 10 and AMD LogM 2.9 plus HIP 2.8. The first application is Chab, which is a DFT application that is Reynolds, Average, Navier Stokes, and the Potential Flow Solver. In this evaluation, we use the Potential Solver. The application is developed at the Polytechnic Montreal and originally written entirely in Chapel. To enable GPU execution, we prepared a GPU version of two most time-consuming forward loop, and in addition to that, we utilize a CU solver for the solver part. Let's talk about the CHAMP's potential solver numbers. First, the table shows the source lines of code added for enabling GPU execution. As you can see, the use of GPU API significantly reduces source lines of code for the first part, and also, Mid-level API further reduces source lines of code for that part. In this application, we identified that the use of GPU jagged array was quite effective to reduce source lines of code at medium level. If you take a look at the performance number on Summit and the AMD server, you see significant performance improvement by utilizing a GPU on both platforms. Also, there is no significant performance difference among the three versions which means that our GPU API does not incur any performance overhead. The second application is distributed exact optimization that can be used for the backtracking and the branch and burn. The application is developed at INRIA and the University of Luxembourg, and they already have Chapel Plus GPU version, which is what we call low-level version because this application is highly compute-intensive and irregular. Thus, we prepare the mid and the mid low version on top of their low level version. Let's talk about the distributed exact optimization numbers. Essentially, performance and the productivity trends are pretty much similar to what we saw in the champs. One thing to note is that the performance of our GPU API version is comparable to that of their original Chapel for scooter implementation, even in distributed executions. Since this application is highly irregular and the strong stability is not very good. However, we see some performance improvement when the number of nodes are increased on Cori. We will plan to update our GPU iterator module to support dynamic load balancing for better strong stability. In conclusion, we have provided the Chapel GPU API that provides an appropriate interface between Chapel and the accelerator programs. In particular, GPU API enables a higher level GPU programming interface with minimum performance overhead. We have verified this on both NVIDIA and AMD GPU using different applications, including two real world applications. We would like to thank the Champs and the Bonus team for the collaboration. Also, we would like to thank the Chapel and the Habanel team for their feedback on the design and the implementation of our modules. And this research used the NASC and the ORNL computing resources. Finally, 
We have just released the latest version of GPU APA plus GPU iterator module on GitHub. If you are interested, please go to our repository and see the detailed document. Also, we are very glad that our community is growing. If you are interested in accelerating your chapter application on GPUs, please feel free to contact us. Thank you very much for your attention.